bird dogs, their dyed green buns, their crispy onions, provolone cheese, chopped long hots. Kevin, you taking down a bird dog? I don't think they're coming to Lansdale, but no, nah. you're not taking that. Not, Why? Not eating hot dogs anymore. Why not? Not eating hot dogs. New Year's resolution. I'm not eating like processed meat. Oh, bullshit. You've yeah. Eaten. I'm not eating lunch meat anymore. I'm not eating hot dogs and I'm not, I'm not keeping soda in the house. Soda's a good one. Yeah. I gave up soda like a long time ago. Now the hungover diet, Dr. Pepper, uh, you know, diet Coke. That's yeah. okay. That's I'll, uh, I'll mix. No, I will go that. to like, you know, if there's a, like a bullshit day where I'm just like, you know, running around or whatever, or once a week or every other week or something, I'll go to Wendy's and get a, you know, like a number one and I'll get like a Coke or something with it. But I don't keep like, I, I no longer keep lunch meat in the fridge. I no longer keep soda in the fridge, try to cut down on carbs too. Um, and I've been sick for the last four weeks. So it's all going really well, as you can tell. My, com my commitment to health hasn't really taken off. Taken you got to you, you add more soda and processed meat to your diet. Now, yeah. listen, I don't say no to free hot dogs. I will be giving this hot dog. I'll be grabbing this hot dog in University City. On Friday at eleven thirty, uh, yeah, I'll probably have a hot dog review. A lot of people are really scared about the green bun. Grow up, people. Be an adult. It's food coloring. All right, just eat it. I don't love the provolone. I'm more of an American guy on my, on yeah. my, uh, on my hot dog. And I believe that the city of Pennsylvania, the city of Philadelphia, excuse me, <laughs> has, <laughs> the city of Pennsylvania, the city of Pennsylvania as a whole, and maybe the city of New Jersey as well. Yeah. We have a long hot problem. There is a problem with long hots. There are too many long hots on food. There are long hots on pizza now. There are long hots on Italian hoagies. There are long hots in salads right now. And potato and chips, too. They made a long hot potato chip. Like, what are we doing here? Long hots are not that good because I don't know if you know this, Kev. Do you know long hots? You don't always get a spicy long hot. Not every long hot is the same. It's kind of like a snowflake. Is there a, as a serious question? This is pitiful. But is there a, such a thing as a short hot? No. Absolutely not. I, I can't. There, there are Italian people who want to want to claw their eyes out thinking that you even, you even think that right now. But the thing is about, about the long hot is uh, I'm not a big spicy foods guy. Yeah. But like if you don't get a spicy long hot, then you're basically just chewing on a wilted pepper right now. And yeah. then at some other points, you get a long hot with like 10 seeds in it and then your mouth is on fire. It's like playing Russian roulette with your food. And I don't enjoy yeah. that. So yeah. I will eat this. I will eat it with. I saw this on Fox 29 too. It's chopped up long hots. I'm really just thinking it's chopped up jalapeno. It doesn't mm. look anything like a long hot. I don't know how much you you know about long hots. Did you just ask if there was a short? Not hot? a lot. I'm not a I'm not a South Philly guy. I, you know, I went to school in Berks County. I don't think we had a. a long I mean, those hot. are not long hots. Long hots like come in one long strand. They're not <laughs> Kelly Green like those jalapenos are. Yeah. They're more of a of a of a midnight. They're more of like a midnightish. Kind of. Can we zoom? Can we zoom back out here? This is kind of freaking me out. Like I think we're way. That guy has great teeth. Maybe the, well, the top, the top, you guys, the bottom. Good, like, yeah. We yeah, might maybe he had a little Invisalign there. To yeah, show. we need some Invisalign on that guy's yeah, teeth. Yeah, but I, I will, I will be having this. I will be indulging in this. I don't want to say I will have one for every win because I don't feel like going all over God's green earth for one. If they come to Fishtown, yeah. I'll be more than happy to go to the food truck. But sure. I will be there at eleven thirty, right next to the Drexel University, uh, right next to the Blaze Pizza. There you go. All right. Hey. You know what, though? Um, and you know this because you used to live in, in, in Philly. Philadelphia needs a hot dog joint. Not a, a joint that just specializes in hot dogs, but they need a joint that will like, hey, you know, here's like, a, you know, some burgers, some mac and cheese. Oh, here's like three specialty hot dogs. Philadelphia does not have good hot dog joints. It's only like a cart on 17th and market. That's really all you can find. Hot dogs. Can we, well, let's ask our guest if he's a hot dog guy. You want to bring him on? Oh, is he here? Yeah, we got Ryan. He's here. Yeah, Ryan oh, Wagner hey, from the hey. Philadelphia Wings. Defense What's going on, on, guys? Hey, what's Ryan up, Ryan? Ryan? You're from Ontario. What's, Ontario. The, what's, the, what's the glizzy atmosphere up there? I mean, if you're around the Rogers Center for a Jays game, the street meet's pretty phenomenal, I'll be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. Do they have a guy or are you more of like a hot dog guy or like what's the what's the street meat and tail up there? I, I like a sausage, if I'm being honest. I mean, I, I do I don't discriminate. Both are both are phenomenal, but uh if I've got the option, I'm probably going with uh with the sausage. I mean, 
non-negotiable like you got some banana peppers and onions on it like that's maybe a little sauerkraut the toppings are underrated but they 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 go into what makes a good dog are you a ketchup mustard guy or ketchup ketchup what are you a uh, little ketchup little mustard but i think it's those other toppings i was talking about that uh, that really top it off did the uh, Philadelphia Wings have a dietary plan uh, for the players that you guys got to follow? I mean, sports science is a big deal these days. You know, what do you guys have to eat and what are you not supposed to eat? Uh, I mean, which answer do you want? I mean, <laughs> I, want the, I want the real answer. I want the truth. Yeah. We're free now then. Eat Clean Bro was giving us some awesome meals last year. We're uh, big on Chipotle this year. Um, it's got uh, all the, the nutritional value that you need. And then through the week, I mean, you're kind of on your own. They give us some guidelines, but uh, me personally, I'm uh, I'm pretty tight on the diet, but I like to treat myself every now and then. Okay, what's Rambo's diet? Just the Babe Ruth diet, beers and hot dogs? <laughs> no, 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 no. He's good. He's looking lean this year. Are you kidding me? He is. 